Hello guys, welcome to Cloud24 Services. I am Michael Okotier. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to clone a website. Actually, we'll be cloning this particular website right here. This is springmonth.com. It's a website um, of a school somewhere in Atlanta. So we'll be cloning this one right now, okay? So what software are we going to use? How do we go about it? The installation process and the main copying process and all that. I'm going to be showing you all this in a very short while. So let's jump right into it, all right? So the very first thing we're going to do is we'll go straight to google.com, google.com, Google, and then we'll search for HT track web copier. Let's go. HT track web copier, as you can see. HT track. Okay. H T T R A C K. H T H T track web copier. So you just enter. Very well. So the very first link that comes to you that pops up is is download.httrack.com, all right? So you just enter straight into this one. So here we are. As you can see, about download manual and all these, I don't care about all this one. So let's just go straight into it, all right? So look at this. This green roll, this green roll, okay? This green roll is what uh, we're gonna deal with. So come right here to alternate site and click. So automatically, it begins to download for you, okay? It starts downloading for you. So within a few seconds, it's done. As you can see, this is it right now. So just click here and um, show in folder. Alternatively, you might just want to go into your, your Windows Explorer and get it out from there. Then whichever way, you're good. So for me, show in folder, right? Come right here and... Um, Double click, then run. Next, I accept. Then next. Don't do anything. Next. Don't click this. Don't don't create a. Uh, start of menu folder don't do this all right just leave it the way it is and next here uncheck this click only this middle one create desktop icon this is important this is not important this will cause problem later this will as well cause problems so we we'll just stick with this one all right create desktop icon then move on next install This installation process will happen. It happens very, very fast. All right, so uncheck this one. It's not important, okay? Launch WinTrack Web Copier. Yes. Uncheck this one. You don't have any problem with the history. Leave that one alone. Okay, then finish. So the moment it's finished, it will pop up automatically for us to do our first cloning. All right, very well. So, yes. I just click next okay project name project name um, I only call this um, school web clone school web clone okay school web clone that's it so leave every other thing. This folder was created automatically at the point of install installing this software. All right. So HTTrack itself created this 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 folder for you, my websites. All right. So that is it. So next, this is the web address. Okay. Do not try to type this by yourself because the tendency of making mistake with it is very, very high. So what you're going to do is just go straight to the website itself that you want to clone and then highlight it and copy it. Control C or just right click and then copy. Okay. So go back to your HT track and paste it right there. Then next. Don't do anything here. Just click finish. So this will take some time to copy. While this clones by itself, 
just open your fridge and then get a bottle of coke and enjoy yourself with it all right so i will have to fast forward this video because basically it'll take a long time it's a big website it's a large website okay so that's there if this video is being of help to you right now please help me subscribe to this channel it's a brand new channel we have we have very few subscribers so please um the only thing you can do for me right now which of course i'll appreciate forever is your subscription to this channel it's a baby channel please help us grow thank you very much and of course if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back i really appreciate you i love you we're almost there almost almost there all right so just wait a little more a little longer and then we'll have the complete website on our local machine okay as you can see the process is finished all right so we just um sorry the process has been completed so we just click finish okay that is there very well so i'll just go straight to my to my windows explorer and um get go to my c drive of course and then my website okay so this is school web clone this is it that's the name i gave to it right very well so whatever you give yours you go check as well okay so this is it right so the very next thing is the the website you'll see www.springmonth.com if if your website is abc.com for instance you'll see the same thing here so just enter the url folder okay so it goes straight to the index the index the index file the index file this is it right now this is it right here so so I just enter this double click this and um, in a matter of microseconds it's here so this is the website as you can see this this is it from my C drive see my website and then this is it straight from my local computer right my local machine meanwhile this is the original website can you see can you see this this is the original website this is the original website beautiful right very well so look at the one i have cloned look at the one i have cloned it's behaving the exact same way as you can see so um if you have followed this tutorial to this point you have just cloned your first website so guys um thanks again for watching but please if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel uh, please help this channel to grow. Thank you very much.